In this tutorial, we will cover the PBR Map Generator tool. First, add a graphic image. Then, use the Edit Texture tool to select the graphic image, and then go to the Property Editor. Other than the added texture image, the other maps are currently empty. We will make them next. Let's start by creating a normal map. Click the PBR Map button on the right side of the Normal Map menu. The normal map is now created and the PBR Generator button is turned into the trash can. After it's generated, you can then adjust the intensity value. If you don't like it in the end, you can also just delete it with the trash can icon. The Displacement Map button also has the PBR Map Generator, so you can click that to create a displacement map. The created map is saved in App Data. Next, create an opacity map doing the same thing as before. Once it is generated, we can always adjust the opacity afterwards with the opacity slider. If you want to restart, you can always use the trash can icon to delete that opacity map. Set the Roughness option to Map and make the map. Just like the others, we can adjust the Roughness map with the Map Intensity sliders. As we have done with the others, we can create a Metal Nest map using that icon again, and then make the adjustments in the slider above. We will rotate in 3D so that you can see the metalness that is generated. After you have created all of these maps, you can always go back and adjust the intensity values to create a more desired material. Here we are showing this feature for the applied graphic image, but any base color map applied to fabric, trim, graphic, or buttonholes creates a PBR map that is supported for displacement maps, opacity maps, roughness maps, and metalness maps.